new backdrop again if you haven't noticed it's books but this particular episode is not actually about books it's about something that is more deeply entrenched in american culture and in my opinion is considerably more stupid if you're aware and like follow american sports you'd notice that over the last weekend the broncos have won a spot in the super bowl again and it's been a really long time and people on facebook and everything even people i know for a fact don't like watching sports have been like oh my gosh happy day and like broncos and i'm wearing orange and blue and woo and my response to the broncos winning is whoopity doo but whatever um it makes lots of people happy I like playing sports. I play ice hockey and tennis and ultimate frisbee and I'll play soccer and basketball and I'm not necessarily good at any of these things. But when I play and when I am um, around people like my brother and my dad who watch sports, I notice trends in sports. And um, there's one particular trend, maybe you've experienced it if you've ever played sports, um, that there's always like this one guy or an ultimate frisbee, there's a couple of guys because when you play ultimate frisbee they pass to you and you can't go anywhere um so you need another team member and they like think they're the star and they just like play the entire game and they they're like not even that great at leadership or delegation or teamwork and you usually end up losing but they just try to be the star and try to be like this amazing person it's great not and you lose and being as competitive as i am i just kind of you can understand how it puts me on like teamwork, leadership, strategy, like let, let's work this together. And so due to this, I've made up a story or rather a parable to tell to people that have this problem when they have this problem so that they understand that I'm talking what I'm talking about. And I think it applies to many sports games, especially like professional basketball. I don't know much about football because I don't actually watch it and I don't care about it and I don't really understand it either. But um, I think it applies to pretty much lots of sports, except for maybe like the individually played ones like tennis. And so I'm going to be sharing it with you so that you can apply it whenever, and it applies to other areas of life too, I just apply it to sports most. And so welcome, dear children, to the parable of the selfish walrus. Once upon a time, there was a walrus who lived on top of the world. And there was lots of other animals that lived up on top of the world too. There were seals, and there were polar bears, and there were arctic terns, and there were arctic foxes, and there were arctic wolves, and there were all kinds of things. And then there was a couple other walruses, but there was this one walrus and he was highly obese and he was really fat and there was global warming. And so all of these ice caps and icebergs were melting down and all of the other animals were beginning to drown. And there was still one big one left. And this walrus was so big that he took it up all by himself. And uh, there's like all of these, if you can just imagine it, there's like this walrus on this gigantic iceberg and he's just like sitting there. And then there's all these other people and they could all survive together if the walrus would just like scoot his self over and give them all some room, but he didn't want to and he wouldn't share. And so... Then what happened was due to all this like acid in the ocean and the temperatures rising and his heavy weight compressing on this iceberg, um, it just snapped in half and the walrus fell into the water and he drowned. And all the other animals were able to swim to the other icebergs and live happily on the icebergs and they weren't too heavy and they didn't make it drowned. And then people were able to solve the climate problem and it went away, but the walrus died. That's the important part. And so when you play sports, I want you to keep in mind that don't be like the selfish walrus and don't hog the iceberg. Share with other people because we can coexist better that way. That's the end of story time with me. Go Broncos.